There's so much to see. We've been going wide open since we got here. Yeah. Something clicked in us and said, man, we get it now. I think there's about 26 cars in here. There's some really nice eye candy. Behind these gates is where some of the most prestigious people in the world come to play in their luxury motor coaches. Today, our friend Bradley Twait is gonna give us behind the scenes access and interviews to some of the coolest people in the luxury motor coach industry. Sure. Brad, how you doing today, sir? Good. Nice to see you, Andrew. Likewise, it's a beautiful day here at Harside Grove. What it, do you got going on is. here? This is a in-depth, deep dive into the luxury RV lifestyle at Harside Grove. We're gonna even meet some celebrities in there yeah. today. This is an exciting video that I'm really excited to share oh, with you. For sure, this is gonna be a fun one. It might be a long one it's too. It's gonna be a long one, so yeah. get your popcorn. But a lot of great information, so definitely Absolutely. worth watching. Let's go. We were not planning on seeing this <laughs> no. coach, but this is a coach I've been following on Facebook. I think this is the most restored Newell coach in history. Without a doubt, man. So Simon, Simon. an absolute honor to meet you. Pleasure. Honored as well. Thank you, guys. Thank you, We've man. We've been following what you've done with this Newell. Uh, now, I believe this is a 1993 Newell coach? It's a 1993. You've documented almost a complete restoration on this coach? Correct. What's your story and how did this come about? So the way this came about is I actually fell in love with the style of the coach. However, it was like a black brown with a champagne, which we didn't like the color and the interior was kind of like your grandmother's living room basically it was champagne on brass and gray and greens and it just my wife looked at me like what are you doing <laughs> i said well i can turn this thing around we can make it really nice and uh one thing led to the other i was ocd you pretty much will see what we've done i mean simon you even built a pit in your yeah. yard where you parked a coach i mean this guy is next level the frustration i had was bringing to get service for an air fitting and so forth an oil leak and i couldn't uh get find anybody it, yeah. to do the work you hit your mid 50s you don't want to crawl under a coach no. anymore so the best thing to do is to we dug out a pit well you fascinate me you know that i'm all Thank about you. reconditioning i mean man i'd kill to have you on my staff. We would make yeah. magic together, I man. I think so, I have some <laughs> I have some good ideas. We can spend oh, yeah. several days going through everything on this coach. Now you did a full exterior paint job and so much that's on the Newell Coach Owners Facebook group, but uh, do you think we could show the folks on YouTube the interior? Absolutely, what I'd like to add is that this coach is actually self-running on 3,600 watts of solar panel and 30,000 watts of battery lithiums. So just want to give You're you a You're not even up. plugged in at the park? It is plugged in, but I'm actually using the battery power. Wow. Yeah. Come on in. <laughs> so non-slide 1993, this looks really close to the new ones here. So what, what all did you do to the interior? The, the best way I can describe is we kept the vinyl and the ceiling in the cabinets, everything else went. We had sage green blinds, we had dark green chairs, denim and pink was all the upholstery. Really came together well and- Look at this. And for we, a non-slide coach, this is very livable. Oh, look at the size. Yeah. Look at this. For a non-slide coach, the amount of room in here. This was all brass. We had turtles and, and whatnot. We had grab handles and this was all melon mine. We tiled it, tiled the flooring. Beautiful Look power. And you did all of this yourself? All of this, yeah. It's a lot to take in this here. This is the solar system that runs the coach. I mean, that's that looks like some of the newer coaches. Is this original? Newell did this to the, the previous owner. He had an open bath concept and they, they closed it off. So we Smart. kept it. Yeah, very smart, yeah. And then we and tiled everything in here. This had oak oak woodwork. Tile work up the side of the wall, very cool stuff. So was there an inspiration for your design? Or I almost feel a little bit of a marine or aqua or? I'm an electrical contractor, so I go in a lot of people's homes and I, I, there was one particular one I seen in Scottsdale and that's kind of the, the color tones. And as far as the aqua and the marine tones, that's all my wife. Okay. So I did all the renovations, she, she was the colorist. This is cool with the north-south facing bed and then I see Lots of accent lighting. You did it all in this one. We wanted comfort. We wanted to feel like home. We just want to feel like anybody can come in and not kick off your shoes. Just relax and not have to feel, oh, I don't want to get your floors dirty. Come on in. Everyone's welcome. And new carpeting. You've got it yeah. covered, I see. Yeah. Your diamond stitching pattern on yeah. the headboard. Just so over the top. I, th I mean, this backsplash here, the sink, I mean, everything about it is so impressive. This 
this has to be the nicest 93 Newell in history. I'd say this has to be the nicest 90s Newell in history. Brad, would you agree? <laughs> it's beyond. Actually, if you can get a quick video shot of the engine, nobody's going to ever see an 8V92 look like this. Yeah, let's, we just saw Mark Martin's engine, so let's take a look at your engine real quick here. He still has the lead, but uh, this was, comes in a close second. Yeah, but a 30 year difference in between your two coaches, so looking forward to seeing this. So. Absolutely, I look forward to sharing. I think this is uh, keeping up with Mark's engine bay as far as cleanliness. I mean, I could I could eat dinner off of this, guys. So this is an 8V92. This is by far the cleanest 8V92 I've ever seen. What all did you do back here? Is this refurbished or? Um, it's original motor. We bought it with 123,000 miles. We have 140,000. Uh, I just replaced the, uh, for no reason, just gaskets. I had the valve covers powder coated. I just detailed it. Uh, makes it easier to monitor for oil leaks, and uh, we haven't had any oil leaks, so we, we solved all that. Simon, I hope we can cross paths again soon to really, you know, I want, I want to go out down the road with you in this. Uh, this is a really cool coach and really awesome what you've done. If people want to see the whole build on this, what's the best place for people to find all the pictures that you documented it? I believe the Newell Guru site. And then the Newell Coach Owners Group as well on Facebook. Correct. Well, Simon, great to finally meet you. I've been following this uh, build it. for yeah. a long time. So appreciate it. Hope, hopefully we can cross paths again soon. Look forward to it. This is a beautiful Liberty coach. We had a chance to see this when it was brand new, but this is quite the space you have up here at Harside Grove. We've been coming up here for the better part of really over 10 years or better. Somewhat traveling through as a family, just staying and renting. And uh, I think about seven years ago, we decided to put stakes down and, and uh, bought some property here. And, and we've just completed this, developing this amazing RV, new kind of level lifestyle here. Yes, sir. I was impressed with this Liberty coach when I saw it, but what you've done at this RV lot here, this is next level. It's yeah. gonna be quite a reveal. Yeah, we're we're <laughs> trying to take things to the next level, I think. The only bad part of it is it's probably one of the nicest campground sites you could be in, and my friends will never want to leave. Yes, sir, and I hear you've got quite a car collection around here as well. I've been collecting cars for the better part of the last 20 years, probably a little more aggressively in the last 10. <laughs> I'm up to about 125 uh, muscle cars, resto mods, kind of a mix, you know, I've got some exotics and things like that. But I kind of like my lifestyle my cars and my traveling to kind of come together as one and what we've done here is develop a place to do all of that. You did it. You guys have no idea what you're about to see. This yeah. is incredible. Andrew has not been inside yet to see what's going on here. I'm giggling like a school kid because when I went in here for the first time yesterday I had an emotion invoked of I can't believe my eyes in an RV park. So yeah, yeah and it's a small sampling you know yeah. but but uh, but a nice sampling. Yeah so. it just shows what can be done at Harside Grove and yeah. you blew through the ceiling limits of what can be done at an RV resort. We've had lots in a lot of different places, but there's no other place that I know of in the country. This is nearly two acres of property it's unbelievable. that we're on. So we've created just kind of like this amazing wonderland and this incredible backyard and a beautiful residence along, I guess you call it a Barnuminium because you've got the toys in there and everything comes together. So it's really worked out yeah, great. You're elevating the lifestyle here for sure. You're the developer of the big boy toy barns down at the entrance here. I asked Kirk Rose about that earlier and knew about it. You don't have to own a uh, RV lot in here to buy no. one of those buildings down there. No, not so. at all. Predominantly there are probably end up mostly being folks within For the sure. park because it really is kind of a amenity to the lifestyle. It's an extension, yeah, it is. Of the it, community. And it's a cool place to hang out. It's a place where we have car shows and cruise-ins and we take yeah. rally rides in our cars yeah. and ride our Harleys and side-by-sides and it, it's just a whole elevation of the lifestyle lifestyle in our being so for sure it's not your typical uh, pickleball court no kind of exactly <laughs> I really appreciate you being here and what yeah, you're bringing absolutely so happy to do it let's go in and show them let's do it Yeah, so this is quite the living space, and I see they're still doing the finishing touches on construction. Yeah. Uh, but how long have you been in here we're, for? We're just wrapping it up. I mean, we actually started staying in the residence about five days ago. Otherwise, we'd been in the bus to transition, but it's it's all kind of coming together. And excuse the mess, because we're still moving stuff in, but yeah. It's very comfortable. Yeah, and how very many good. square feet total is this? The building's 10,000, seven of that of which is for cars and toys and motor coach, what have you. The residence between the downstairs and upstairs is about 5,000 total square feet. Yeah, I'm looking forward to showing the folks the car collection back there, but can we take a quick look around the house here? Absolutely, and I always wanted to sleep really close to my car, so that's why we built this. <laughs> yes, sir, yes, sir. So, uh, nice living area here, and yep. quite the wine cellar behind me, but yep. uh, what all's going on here? We Jeff? made great use of a space that is 
is uh, ordinarily just a dead space. That's actually the underneath side of the staircase that goes to the second story. So we built a, a nice little wine cellar out of it. My wife and I both love really, really good red wines, Cabernets. Uh, so you can't, uh, you gotta have your wine happy, you know? Yes, sir, I love the glass door and the flooring and then quite the, the kitchen over here. No shortage on space here. Well, yeah. one of the nice things about a building of this volume um, is you end up with this really expansive space in the living area. You know, very high ceilings. We did a nice tray ceiling in here and kind of shows what you can do with the barnuminium concept, you know? Yes, sir. And how many bedrooms are in this? Three. Three, there's, okay. There's two upstairs and then the master downstairs. So there's some really cool pictures of some boats here. I heard you have a little background uh, in the marine industry. Yeah, just a little bit. I spent 45 years in the boating industry, uh, both in the marina and the dealership side. Started my business with a couple hundred dollars in a toolbox in Marco Island and, and built it up to nine locations throughout Southwest Florida. And I kind of kind of retired about two years ago. So I'm now doing some developing because I can't sit still. But uh, yeah, and spending more time with my passions you know the cars that we have here and the boats that we enjoy and we, we do a lot of traveling sport fishing I'm an avid Blue Marlin Bill fisherman so we fish kind of all over the place we've been in the DR and the BVI uh, Costa Rica a lot of different places so this is just a little sampling of the some of our boats we have a 157 foot Trinity and a 60 foot Spencer sport fishing boat uh, that's a 43 winner and a 39 MTI. A little bit of everything depending on what you want to do yeah, for the can, day. You can go yes, real, real fast or you can go real, real slow in style and comfort. <laughs> or go fishing a few different ways yes, in comfort as well. Exactly. So. Yep. Go bigger. Yeah, go yeah exactly. <laughs> Unfortunately, I have some very expensive passions, but we do enjoy it. So yeah, I think one of your passions is cars too, because you've got some incredible specs out there. But let's keep looking around this house here before we see the car collection. Absolutely. Let's do it. Uh, this definitely does not feel like we're on a motor coach lot, but uh, this is beautiful. Yeah. Well, well, I mean, you know, you got to be comfortable and uh, the master's a big part of that. We put a nice office off of it here. We still do a little bit of work. I'm involved in some developing and things of that nature. So we got that space in a laundry center and we put a beautiful master bath. If you want to, we'll walk through and you can take a look at all of that. Nice fire feature here. Yeah, and I don't know what finish this is, but beautiful. It, it's all ceramic tile and it almost looks like a patinaed metal, which it's kind of designed to do. So. Yeah, because it's a great look. Yeah, that wood on the ceiling with indirect lighting and yep. double crown moldings, just. Yep, it's all cypress wood, and then, then it's got uh, walnut crown molding all the way around with some up lighting behind it, and lighting does a lot of things. And we put a nice master bath in here with a beautiful big shower and all the sprays and all the things that you need. This motor coach lot is, is way beyond most people. Yeah, it's not homes. your little cottage in a motorhome <laughs> park. It's 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 pretty major. It's the real deal. Yes, it's sir. the real deal. So the game room is upstairs here, but then we're going to look at the cars in just a moment. We kind of made a nice little hangout place in the second level. A couple of bedrooms for our grandkids and guests that come and stay. Pool table, foosball, little shuffleboard and uh, watch the NASCAR race on the Sunday. And we're building a nice bar over here that isn't quite completed yet but uh, great, great space for entertaining and hanging out with friends. Well, and then this balcony outside here, overlooking the yeah. backyard is incredible. It looks like you've got a spot for a couple motor coaches out there too. We do. Most of the time when we're here, our bus is parked on one of them. If we travel and leave the area, uh, we put it inside and plug it into the, the garage area. But yeah, we have two guest pads here, beautiful expansive backyard with fountains and streams and waterfalls all lit up at night. It's, it's just a really great little spot a little gathering for a fire pit for folks to hang around in the evening and it's truly a lifestyle spot no question about it you guys want to see this car barn uh, right downstairs here this is incredible yeah let's do it so you've got a few cars here on your motor coach lot yeah we brought a small sampling up here i think there's about 26 cars in here there's some really nice eye candy in here for instance a little beach wagon here for michigan and cruising I mean, around and going to the sand dunes and things of that nature stunning paint yeah you yeah, have never seen anything like this i love this color combination here there's quite the story on this Porsche here? Yeah, I actually bought two uh, from the same collector. They're both 2009s, which is the last year of that particular body style. And one has 118 original miles on it. One has 180 and the window stickers are still in the car. So very cool. In the wrapper still. Yeah, in the wrapper. Uh, now, is there any special cars here? There's a lot to look at, but any cars near and dear to your heart? Yeah, there are. I, I've got over here on the other side a 55 Chevrolet and that car actually won the Detroit Autorama. That's a real, real special car and uh, we've done done a lot with it and had a lot of fun with it so Wh which one is that it's right over here on the other side you got a little bit of everything in here you like Corvettes a little bit a little bit <laughs> yeah I'm kind of partial to uh 
1963 split windows, the year I was born, so I've always had a passion for those, so I think I get about 12 of those. Oh, wow. Collection, but yeah, this car is just stunning. It's, it's amazing. A 55 Chevrolet Bel Air convertible custom from the ground up. And the I underneath side of it is beautiful as the top. That's really rare to see a 55 Bel Air convertible. I've right. seen quite a few Bel Airs, yep, but not, but not the a convertible. convertible. Right. Very cool. Yep. The interior is all leather, power seats, AC. It's just a stunning automobile. A lot of very modern touches. I love yeah. that stitching on the seats. Yeah, Dave built me three cars, actually four cars, but we took a 55, 56, and a 1957 that he built all to the Detroit Autorama and one display and every one of them won. And behind you, that truck is real special. That's a 58 Apache Chevrolet pickup truck. and. That is as nice a pickup truck as you'll find anywhere. The Resto Mod concept, which is becoming enormously popular in the collector car world, uh, essentially a lot of us can relate to these cars, you know, as we grew up, but these Resto Mods actually drive and handle like a brand new automobile would today. If you drove some of the old cars back in the day, we didn't know they drove bad because they didn't have anything to compare it to. But uh, these are just amazing. I mean, this truck, 80 miles an hour down the interstate highway, one finger on the wheel, AC blowing cold and just chilling and having a great time. Now, Brad had an Eleanor. This is way beyond what I had. Yeah, what's the story on this car? It's a 69 custom, again, resto mod from the ground up. My wife claimed this car right out of the box, so it is her car. Beautiful, beautiful candy apple red paint job, black leather interior. It's got the Cobra Jet Super Snake motor in it. Uh, car, car is just absolutely everywhere you look underneath the hood how the metal treatment was done it's just stunning it's an amazing stunning. automobile truly a piece of artwork and talking about artwork it looks like you had dean do a custom D dean laux design on your stacker trailer that I, I sure did yeah i mean you know if you're gonna have a stacker and a nice bus <laughs> going down the road they better look good so you know there's nothing that beats a dean laux paint job there's no question about Jimmy that he doesn't do anything halfway no. yeah no no <laughs> better way to transport no these go beautiful big or cars. go home you <laughs> know? yes sir yes sir jimmy we really appreciate you taking your time and showing us your new home yeah my pleasure man this is just over the top i yep. hope it shows on my expression i'm blown away yeah so, well i hope people can see what the RV lifestyle can be. Yeah, I'm blown away by you and what you bring here and what you've done. So thanks a lot, man. Appreciate, appreciate it. Yeah, you, you got it. Yeah, Enjoyed thank it. you for the opportunity. I, much. I can hang out here all day, but we've got a, we've got a lot more to see here around the resort here. So. Yeah. Well, great. Thanks Enjoyed again. it. Thanks, guys. Yeah, thank well. you, sir. So we got Ken Twaits and Brad Twait. <laughs> Is there any relation here? <laughs> Brother from another mother. Brother from another mother, for sure. It's uh, T-W-A-I-T and T-H-W-A-I-T-S. So it's uh, the H is silent. So <laughs> it's, it's just nice amazing it, what how the close eyes. that is. <laughs> so another friend of ours at the Motor Coach Store family, another friend of the channel. You guys have seen Ken around and we found him here at Side Grove today. Yeah, you know, it's funny. The last time I saw you, we were in the middle of Florida at Sebring. And now here, six months later, we're in Northern Michigan. So, a, hey, I've been using it, man. And with your same beautiful Newell coach, one of the best looking Newells overall on the road. And you bought this coach from the Motor Coach Store. I did. I went down to to look at two separate coaches didn't have this in mind at yeah. all yeah but you know i looked at the two and i went huh what's that one look like and i walked in it and i instantly bought it right from there what years were you looking at? i was looking at 2017 17s and popped to a 22 22 you don't see that happen too yeah often, but that's how special this coach is you know when you walk in it if it's just got to blow you away if it's not doing that probably should walk away and that's what this did for me absolutely yes yeah, so how's the coach been treating you it's been great i love new Newell. I'm a I'm a Newell guy. Uh, this is my third Newell, believe it or not. But you know, there's 10 years between each model, so I, I hung in there and, and I'm back. You know, traveling in these, it's not roughing it at all. I love driving them. I did the PDI upgrades to the engine, so it's got a little more power for to out pull the semis going up grades. And it just at 70 miles an hour, which is the speed limit. It just cruises right along. Aren't you a race car driver? I, I am, but I don't break the law. Yeah, we just saw Mark Martin, so we're seeing all the guys from the racing industry. Yeah, I haven't seen it in person. Get over there. Oh, I know. That's what I hear. Have you been to Harshside Grove before? You know, I couldn't wait to get here. This is the first time. 
And when Newell said they were gonna have a rally up here in the middle of September, I went, ooh, it's, it could either be snowing or it could be 85 <laughs> degrees, you never know. But So I'm glad we did pick this week because it's just been phenomenal, phenomenal weather-wise. Weather, it's sure. just beautiful. The water is crystal clear on Lake Michigan. You know, every now and then the friend takes you out on their power boat and shows you around. It's like, oh man. So it's been just a wonderful experience. It was a fitting ride for a fitting guy. It so was. The uh, Stancraft missile with twin Ilmar Viper V10s out. And, Uncorked. Uh, had a ride. Yeah, so, it was pretty yeah, it was bad special. to the bone. You've been all around the country, but uh, what are your thoughts here about this resort? If I was going to buy a lot in any resort in the country, it would be here. I mean, it's so picturesque. The town of Petoskey is so cute. Okay. Cute little stores, restaurants. It's got, got it all. The air is so clean and fresh. I've been away from work for a whole week and I never knew it. When we arrived here, we got the red carpet treatment. You know, you have a guy meeting you at the gate and then somebody waiting to, to chauffeur you up to the registration area. Yeah, and then he takes you to your site, backs you in just straight, so it makes you look like a pro. The lots are huge here too. They're nice and big and, and wide and full hookups and the Wi-Fi just rips here. So, you know, it's got it all. And some of you may have seen the video we did with Ken down at Sabring. I really enjoyed that interview. You shared a lot of information in that. So we'll leave that in the description below just in case you didn't uh, catch that, where Ken shared a lot of his stories and uh, cool definitely video. worth checking out. But I know you've got a lot going on with the Newell rally, so we don't want to take too much of your time here. Really great to see you again, yeah. sir. Good to see yeah. you, man. Yeah, thank you, sir. As see always. You, <laughs> <laughs> see you, brother. Andrew, this is phase two at Harside Grove, and look who we just found. Hey, the legend Mark Martin. <laughs> hey, how you doing, up, sir? Mark? All right, guys. How are you? Good to see hey, you. Nice to see you. Good to see you again. Look Andrew. at Coach, this in Coach person. Is clean as always. As always. <laughs> wow. Work at it. <laughs> wow is all I can yeah. say, Mark. Holy cow, tell us what's going on here, man. Well, Jared, he saw a picture of my motor the other day, Jared at PDI, <laughs> yeah. and he said, you need a chrome balancer, you know, a damper. <laughs> so he just sent me that chrome damper um, because it was red. And uh, the, a few weeks ago, he told me, you need to paint that, that pulley needs to be black. So I painted that pulley black Beautiful. it was red so he's he's still tweaking it you know he's you about as stop. crazy as you and i are about stuff <laughs> no doubt and uh where's so, your second turbo i've been dying to see this so a it's twin turbo coming 605 yeah so it's up top there and it actually blows through the stock turbo so you still have the variable vane turbo and you still have your jake brake and that stock turbo slows down from like 120,000 RPMs, it only now turns about 80,000 because it wow. gets all that air through there. And you know, your exhaust temperatures go way, way down. I think you told me you're getting 900 horse and 700 to the rear wheel? It made 730 to the, to the rear wheel, so <laughs> we don't know what it does at the crankshaft, but I know My what it does word. to the ground. And, and uh, It's gotta be a riot to drive. Well, it is awesome. There's not a mountain in the U.S that will drag it below 55 miles an hour. And it just growls and eats oh, the road. It just goes. It, wow. It just goes up the mountains. And it also gets better fuel mileage. Of course. It picks it up about almost a half, four tenths, probably uh -huh. a mile a gallon. Those guys at Performance Diesel are just incredible. They yeah. Have, you know, I am so glad that I found them. I mean, this whole package, not only the power, but the look and everything is all due to those guys. No doubt about it, man. They're an incredible operation. Jared had my real craft air hose reel chromed for me. Just wow. got that before this trip and it, it was red. I use a different uh, hose reel than most of them. Most of them are open and you see the, the yep. hose wrapped around yep. there. And this is just cleaner looking. You, you know, I mean, I gotta have a show car <laughs> engine bay. And your tow vehicle is awesome. <laughs> I love this look, that burgundy and then blacked out that you did and did on the coach as well. When I walked up before we started talking, I saw there was something different. Mark Martin does the, the little enhancements and a guy like me that's a car enthusiast can tell the difference. What do you do on these wheels? So the stock wheels are gorgeous, but they're tucked under. Ugly, I yeah. can't stand tucking. Uh, Escalades have always looked like they're hung up on their tires right. and wheels. It doesn't right. fit, it doesn't feel like it right. fills the wheel housing. So you get these the ride height sensors too. So we've got ride height sensors that drop it. You can, I can drop it as much as I want, but I don't want it lowered much. I just want it a little bit uh -huh. to come down. But then this is uh, one inch wheel spacers 
behind the wheels <laughs> to bring the stock wheels out because I was shopping everywhere for a aftermarket wheel yeah. that would look better than the stock ones and I couldn't. So I just want to get them out where it sets like it's supposed to set. So with the stance it has now and with that, with those wheel spacers, it's kind of how I want it. And you asked, was it a V? It's not a V because you can't flat toe a V. But you got the Brembo I'm, Cadillac I'm, brakes on there as well, man. I, I mean, did. this I, is awesome looking. Yeah. It looks better than the V to me. <laughs> it really does, Mark. Well, thank you. So Mark, as you know, we're doing this piece on Hearthside Grove and luxury RV lifestyle. You're definitely an authority <laughs> in our community of luxury coaching. So what do you think uh, of Hearthside Grove? Have you been here before? I haven't. I mean, we, oh, Arlene, this is your first time? Yeah, Arlene and I have been hearing about it for, for 10 years. Yeah. It just really never was on the way to where we were going. Mm -hmm. And then the last five years we spent in Montana and the summers are about the same as here. Uh -huh. And it's a long way to get over here from there. And of course, Newell had this rally uh -huh. and it was a perfect time for, for us to come. What do you think of Grove in the area? Gee, it's beautiful. There's so much to see. We've been going wide open since we got here. Yeah. We've been so fortunate with the weather. It oh, been it's, it's downright hot for yeah. September. You're staying a few days after the rally, right? Yeah. Are we going ATV riding? I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> There's some rumors about me. Yeah, you make me nervous. <laughs> I hear about you. The Hearthside community welcomes you guys with open arms, whether you're renting or uh, decide to buy a place here. It's a ton of fun. It's a great base camp here. Took our coaches up to the UP, AJ and I did, and it's only about an hour and a half away. It's like another world up there. The islands and the wood boats and there's so much to do and motorcycle riding, ATV riding. We even bought snowmobiles. We're gonna come up here, watch the weather oh, and yeah. come up here and snowmobile for a few days. So, That'll be a riot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the community here, you know a lot of these people. I do. The community of Harside Grove is unlike any resort I've ever been to. So really? we'd love to have you in any way, shape or form. Hell, I would. I'd love to come here and, you know, stay longer. Yeah. You know, we're only going to be up here for, you know, a little less than a week. Next time we come, we're going to stay a little longer and see folks. I'm going to make you promise that. Okay. That's <laughs> All right, Mark. Nice well, seeing you. I've got to ask, Mark, when are you uh, selling your coach and when are you getting a new coach? <laughs> Man, I can't do it. I don't know. I'm not sure if my wife will kill me or if doing all the work on a new one would kill, kill me. me. But one, or, one, or, uh, one way or another, I'm not sure I would survive another one. This might be a record for the longest you've kept a coach. <laughs> it's going to be a record, I promise. It's yeah. a year and a half and I'm, okay. I'm telling you, I'm a long way out because we've got the engine <laughs> Perfect. We hit it out of the park on the interior. The paint's about as good as I can get. Oh, I man. had a lot of stress over trying to get the design and the, the paint, you know, really to be on the level of the coach I had before. The coach I had before really set the mark high. And so I don't, it's a lot of stress. For me i don't want to, i'm not i'm not ready to sell this one anytime soon but we saw one of your old coaches come through the motor coach store recently and it was still in yeah. tip top shape you're 17. Uh, 16? it was a 16, yeah. 16, 16 white. the last uh, before the p50s yep. and it was in a warehouse in north carolina being very well maintained let me tell you that coach is awesome <laughs> and the only reason i had i was a two-year coach the only reason i had it that short amount of time is because they came with a new body style yep. and i was like i want that cool. this is more like a five-year coach yeah or more. You knocked it out of the park on this one, you and Newell. Thank I mean, you. the build quality you see here, the fine details, yeah. it's noticeable, Mark. It's stunning. This one, this one's been really good. Um, I'm, I'm real happy with it. I would trade it for a brand new yeah. one. Yeah. Whenever Mark goes to sell this one, people, take <laughs> notice. Take notice, because this one is the pinnacle of new Newell's. Well, thank you. No, yeah, I think I know you. Brad takes really good care of his stuff, but I think Mark may be <laughs> oh, the one person me. that one-ups you. <laughs> got it. Well, Brad's got a lot more stuff to show us around the park here, but Mark, great to see you as always, sir. Thank you. Yeah. It's good to see you. Mark, nice to see you. Yeah, we'll you catch too, you around here a little bit. Great to see my good friends, Tim and Jan. Uh, thanks again for letting us use your lot down in Key West earlier this year. And I think the first time I interviewed you was in Creek. Colorado back in like 2020 or 21. What are you guys doing up here at Hearthside? We're just enjoying the lovely Michigan summer. You know, and the great camaraderie, right, that comes up here in Hearthside Grove. They're very welcoming, whether you're a renter or an owner. So we're just enjoying playing pickleball and all of the amenities, right, that the area has, Harbor Springs, Charlevoix, Petoskey, 
So there's a lot of things to do up here. It's, you know, sort of kind of like Key West, but in the north. Your lot down in Key West, I think I might have titled it like the nicest motor coach lot in the world. I mean, there's just nothing like it having that much water front space in the Keys. So I know you're always after the best of the best, but uh, what brought you to Hearthside here? The beautiful summer weather. I mean, it's gorgeous. The flowers are gorgeous. The water so much water it's gorgeous as you know we're kind of water people right plenty of water here i mean look at this lot these things are fabulously landscaped the flowers absolutely awesome the people are great the events that they have up here all summer are incredible if you don't want to cook you could probably almost eat at an event every night. It's just a great experience up here in the summertime. How long have you been uh, motor coaching for and how did you get into the motor coach lifestyle? We bought our first coach in December of 2016 and that was a Tiffin Allegro bus. The way we got into this was really kind of simple. We we're getting a stereo installed into a car. She saw a little Sprinter van, right? Kind of like the OG vans at the installer and she's like, hey, this would be great. So we went and looked at those and it didn't quite seem big enough. So we kept looking at bigger and bigger and bigger things. And when we got to the 45 foot buses, you couldn't go any bigger. So that was it. And it wasn't long after that that you switched into the Newell coach, just always looking for the best of the best. We, we love the brand. The, the quality of, of Newell is fantastic. This coach has been absolutely wonderful. It just works, right? You get in, turn the key, off you go. The ride quality is fantastic. Fun to drive, great interior space design. It's just a great place to hang out. Now you own a lot down in the Keys, but you're just renting this summer up here at Harside? We are. So we, we have two lots down in Key West, but if you notice that thing has wheels and they're kind of meant to move. When you own in multiple places, you tend to want to go from, from one to the other. So for us, this is it's just easier to rent because next year we might go out west or but still, oh, by the way, come back through Petoskey. For us, it just kind of gives us a little more options than if we owned everywhere we went. How has your experience been being a renter here um, versus being an owner? No difference, zero. Everyone is very nice. The staff is nice. The people that are here, everybody's just so kind and so nice and it, and it doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. Super welcoming. So if you want to come up here for a couple of weeks or a month, it's a great option. Is there any advice that you would have for someone that's thinking about getting into the motor coach lifestyle? Start now. Doesn't matter you know, how big, how small, just start. Yeah, and I was going to say our family loves it too. So when our kids have the chance to visit and come to these different locations, they love it. Their kids love it. So if your kids aren't quite ready, they can enjoy it with you. And it's really awesome. That's what parents want. They want their kids to come with them. And everybody up here is just great. I mean, we made tons of new friends this year. Uh, this has really just been a great experience. I was going to say the other events that Tim had talked about, you know, there's a meal all the time, but they have constantly things going on at the clubhouse. Exercise classes every morning. If you can get up at 8 a.m., they're free to everyone who wants to attend. And then they have different games and that kind of things during the day. So they really do have a lot of activities. You can participate take or not so it's pretty awesome and then pickleball is a lot of fun from here you can go down to sleeping bear dunes which is a wonderful state park go up to the locks at sault st marie mackinac island harbor springs there's just tons of things within a couple hour drive at the most right that you can experience the true uh, northern michigan you know lifestyle and it is it is wonderful up here the wireless networks up here are great streaming is not a problem you know, because as we're all moving to streaming content, yeah. if you don't have a network, you got you got pumpkins, right? So plenty of bandwidth for streaming and be able to work remotely, Zoom calls, okay. those types of things. Oh, that's very important. Yeah. So, you know, those services definitely exist in the Petoskey area. You know, along with great eating, your dining, it's really, you know, just a great place to come. Yes. Like I said, kind of like Key West of North. Yeah. yeah, it seems like there's never a dull moment around here. Right. No. It really is incredible. And you really can't say enough about the weather because rather than sweltering in Texas, we're up here and it has been gorgeous. Mid 70s, mid 80s most of the time. As good as the videos are, they don't do it justice. Not even close. We couldn't have enough cameras to capture every, I mean, even right now, just the angles of what we're looking at, the view is just incredible. It's a 360 degree view of beauty in every place in this park. Yeah. The pride of ownership, the owners do such a great job. I mean, looking across at the flowers over here, the flowers over here, clearly they're loved beyond 
and it, and it just shows. And I think that's the quality of the people that you'll meet when you come to. There's definitely tons of things to do and the folks up here are just great and really welcoming. Tim and Jen, I really appreciate you taking the time to share that with us. And uh, I'll let you get back to enjoying this beautiful evening. This is hard to beat out here. So. It is. It sure is. Thank you, Andrew. Awesome. Thank Thanks you, Andrew. again. Yeah, appreciate good it. Nice to see you guys. Good yeah. to see Thank ya. you. So we found some of our friends from River Landings, Don and Mary. Good to see you up here at our side. Good. Excellent. Thank you. So this is a beautiful new coach you have and kind of an undeveloped blank canvas lot you have here. Correct. Yes. We just, we're here about three years and now we're getting ready. You can see where the, the home will go. It'll be a, a, about an 8,000 square foot condominium. By this time next year, there'll be a building here. This is going to be really cool to see what you come up with. Now, right. what made you decide to buy here at Hearthside? Well, we were just cruising. We were, we were up in Sturgis and everything. We came up through the UP, stopped here for a week and about three years ago in June in Cornassa, we never left. Fell in love with the place. Yeah, and we, we, we've been here ever since. Well, and there's and a- we, You know, we still go back to River Landings and th like that in, in the winter, and, and now this is home in the, in the summer. And you've got a lot of options here at Hearthside Grove. What made you to choose to get this huge footprint here in the woodlands as opposed to a smaller lot? Well, we started on a smaller lot, then we moved into condo two, then we just decided why not, we're not leaving, so let's just go build the barn minimum and we'll be here for the next 10, 15 years. Any um, specific plans or anything cool that you're gonna do uh, here on your lot? Uh. Well, it, it, it'll be about a 3,000 square foot garage so we can park all our toys in it and cars and things like that. And then the house will be two stories, 5,000 square foot for the grandkids and the great grandkids. And how did you get into RVing? Well, mainly chasing race cars. We come out of the Midwest, out of Chicago. We're in the food business back in Chicago and my buddies are all in the race car business. In 2014, we picked up an RV to go chase the boys, watching them run the dirt. Here we are, what, 10 years later, sitting in Hartside and those guys, they just left here about two days ago. They'll be back up in a few weeks, the, the NASCAR, the race car guys. That's how it happened. I mean, we just never realized it'd end up like this. It's nice. I mean, we, it just, it's just, I don't know how we fell into it, but we did. So a lot of folks on YouTube haven't bought an RV yet and are thinking about getting into the motor coach lifestyle. Do you have any advice for folks that are thinking about getting into the motor coach lifestyle? Probably by my first one used. Obviously, you know, the motor coach store when you want to get into and, you know, just get a big enough motor. You say you're never gonna do it, but next thing you know, I think I got two trailers, we got car haulers, all this stuff, because you know, you grow, this set of toys for this group, this set of toys for that group, and you're always pulling, so get a big enough motor, and, and you know, start with used, and then from there, you know, if you wanna roll into a new one, actually this is a couple weeks old, this is the first American Eagle came off the line for 2025. Yeah, beautiful coach here. How has yeah, how like the it. how has the coach been for you so far? Real good. Took it down into Chicago for a couple of days. It runs beautiful. Good coach. You know, big motor. In my world, that's what matters. 605 horsepower. <laughs> yeah. I can't argue with yeah. that. Well, Don and Mary, thank you for your time. I appreciate you sharing that with us, and uh, we'll let you get back to enjoying this beautiful evening here. Well, we appreciate right. it, Andrew. We'll yeah, see you, you back yeah. down in Florida. Hey, looking yes. forward to it. Thanks Alrighty. again. Thanks yeah. again. Yeah. Nice right. to see you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. We're now entering the condo two phase of Harside Grove. They're larger homes. You don't have to have a coach, actually, to own a lot in here. So some of the people, like Dick and Terry, that you're going to meet. We sold their 2018 Millennium this winter and they've been up here all summer without a coach staying in their house. So a lot of flexibility then uh, for, for different phases and for someone that's maybe even thinking about getting in the coach lifestyle or looking yeah. for a nice <laughs> summertime property, it's hard to beat northern Michigan. The weather up here is perfect. I mean it's in the 80s right now and it's mid-September. And the landscaping in this oh. community, I mean I've been to all different types of resorts all over and this is the best of the best. Yes, they had uh, several open houses here yesterday because as you, we've talked earlier the newell rally is going on and there's a lot of newell owners here that have properties elsewhere indio or mountain falls and when they came here they were blown away with how nice this place is the camera doesn't do it justice so we're just trying to showcase the Harside grove luxury rv lifestyle you're about to see one of the nicest lots for sale in Harside Grove. Let's head over to Dick and Terry's lot and show you that in detail. I'd like to introduce you to Dick and Terry Cardegnio. Hi guys, how, how are, are you doing? Hi, Great. Great. good to Great. see you again, good Brad. You. We celebrated your 84th birthday yesterday. Look at how good you look <laughs> and feel. Uh, in addition to that, we celebrated their one year wedding anniversary a week ago. So excited to have you guys in the park. Well, nice to be you. here with you. Good to be here. It's great to have you come in. Well, thank you, Dick, I appreciate well. that. So tell us the story of uh, 
why you're selling. Everyone moves on in life in, in the motor coach industry. Everybody creates a new chapter of their life. And this is just another chapter. We've sold our motor home. We've traveled this whole country, done everything there is to do. And now it's time to move on. In this area that we live in, we do not have to have a motor home, but we felt we wanted to create another chapter of our life. We are moving on to mm -hmm. another area in this area. We would not leave the area. It's too beautiful here to leave. We're going to move to Bay Harbor. Beautiful place. And uh, it's like yes, the next it's, progression out of right. this place. There's a lot of people that go to Bay Harbor really excited to keep you in the area. We won't. We wouldn't there's be. a lot of people that love you guys in here and we won't let you move that far away. <laughs> we have been coming up here for the last 14, 14 years, years, I believe. Yeah. It's just the camaraderie, yeah. our best friends. We have met through the RV community and industry. And this general area in Michigan, Northern Michigan here, has just been great. You have three towns that, yep. and in within 15 minutes, one from another. All the restaurants you can get to, all the nail salons, the hair salons, <laughs> the grocery stores, the nice shopping, <laughs> very nice shopping. So we have so much fun and we have so many friends in this area. Absolutely. And the weather, as you can tell, it's gorgeous. Yes, it's uh, middle to late September and it's gonna be 80 plus degrees here today, which is a little gorgeous. bit of an anomaly for this time of year. But it is. We're, but it's, we're sure loving it. It's a great place, you can't beat it. And the area is just, like I said, it's phenomenal here. Came here by mistake, really. <laughs> and we're gonna stay a week and we wound up <laughs> never leaving. And we've been here for the last 14 years. We rented for four years, uh, then bought How another. How many lots? Well, I've only had three lots, uh -huh. really, but we moved on, we built a, first one we built was a pergola, a good sized pergola with kitchen and everything mm -hmm. in it. It was one of the first in, in our side Grove. And then we bought this lot, just a barren lot, and built this out. And we kept adding on and adding on, and we're to the point where it is right now. And it's now time for us to go to the next plateau in our life and go to Bay Harbor and still have the, the club life and the, uh, the beautiful life that we have in this area. Absolutely. So we're going to really enjoy that. We'll, we'll still come back to oh, see our friends. Oh, we're making you. We have a lot of friends here. <laughs> You're going to keep your ATV, Brad, by Brad. the way, in my building, it's, so we can still go ATV. Yes, absolutely. Went through the National Forest, to Long Lake, Michigan, yes. and it was just a really... We had a ball, didn't we? Yeah, it was a blast. <laughs> it was one of my better birthdays. Awesome. I'm that glad to be here. <laughs> Brad and I haven't known each other for a long time, but it's one of these relationships. Contracted with Motor Coach Store to sell my motorhome when I was ready to sell and drove it over there not knowing what I was going to encounter or whatever and ran into this guy. We have been just the best of friends we ever have. since. I mean our friendship just grows every day and he's just a super guy in the motor coach store. I can't say enough about wow. him. They did everything they told me they were going to do and more wow. and You're sold my motorhome in a short period of time and we're very happy and you'll oh, never find you. a nicer company to do business with. I'm honored I just had to put that in there. Now, thank you. As Dick and Terry mentioned, we sold their Millennium for them this winter. We put a coach on their lot to show it. Uh, we did a photo shoot on it uh, in an open house yesterday on it. This is a new consignment we have at the Motor Coach store. It's a 2021 Prevo Emerald Quad Slide H bath and a half with only 23,000 miles on it. Priced at $1,499,999. Check out the interior. Tell us about your outdoor living area here on your lot. This was a barren lot. There was nothing on it. We dug this pond, we built this pond, we put the stone in, we developed this whole lot from scratch all the way up. And we put the nice fire wall in Firewall. over there. And then we landscaped. Oh. I love to see the flowers. They come up every year by themselves. Yeah, it's a lovely lot. We've spent a lot of time uh, out here at the firewall and enjoying this beautiful view, even of the pond behind the next lot over there. It's just a really peaceful lot. And then you have this wonderful coach pad as well. We have extended the coach pad so you could pull even farther forward. We still left the grass for ones that have pets. 
but that gives you plenty of space behind the coach to have cars, side-by-sides, and yeah. other vehicles if you would like to have those. You can even have a furniture set up out here. There's enough space so you can enjoy tailgating at your coach on your lot. So. And we've done a lot of that when we had a yeah. coach. We we've had many just parties. Set up out here and have we, a party. You sure have. We just set up <laughs> tables and chairs and put the awnings out from the coach, put the TVs out from below the lower bays, and just have a big party. Well, let's show them the inside. All right, please, come on in. I'm going to let Terry show you the, the full interior. She's done all the decorating. This is all hers. I, <laughs> I do the outside, she does the inside. And, and he she's designs, done a fabulous job. He designs the coach as well. As you walk in to the main entrance, you come in and we have this exquisitely large, I think it's 11 feet long countertop. We have had many meals, many parties, many cocktails sitting here. We have the Fisher Paykel gas range with electric oven part, a two drawer Fisher Paykel dishwasher, and an under counter uh, microwave. So that makes our countertops very, very simple, clean, and out of my way. As you can see, we have plenty of pantry storage and storage for the large items that you may have. Over here, we put in the wine cooler because everybody needs a nice chilled glass of wine or champagne. Here we went with a cork background for the fireplace wall. This is where Dick works. He keeps his office. Our main sitting area is here. But then we built and added on to and, and had this enclosed area. When we were here in the winter time, we opened up all the draperies. It was like being inside of a snow globe. It was beautiful. So we have our dinners over here and then we have another sitting area. And for privacy, we have the remote controlled shades. So you push the button and this gives you great privacy in the evenings because in the daylight we keep it up because the view is so incredibly beautiful. As you can see, we always enjoy an outdoor living. That's what motor coaching is all about. So you just open the sliding doors, you have the exterior, you party through and the flow is good. With the awnings, we also are enabled to have overhang so you don't get wet on those drizzly days. Here's an example of what we do when we're ready to leave in the fall. We simply hit a button and put down all the shades. We have storm shades for everything, this whole room, and it just seals it right off. Here we've got my area, this is the bar area, and I think everyone can understand the bar area. We've got a, a two burner cooktop here. We've got drawers, plenty of storage. We've got a warmer drawer here to keep the food warm, more storage, ice maker, and then refrigerator, more storage, and also, a uh, trash compactor and wet sink here so you've got the whole bar and serving areas right here all in one one area out this way we've got the the grilling area which i kept separate and we've got our grill outside all the smoke stays out here everything stays out here yet we have good access to the home all right let's go back and see where the bedroom and the baths are we have in here, the guest bath, it's a half bath. The master bedroom, where we have the split plantation shutters so that you can have daylight, but also privacy. Here we have a walk-in closet with plenty of storage. We also have the electronics. Master bath with the double sinks. This is a central air home. Here we have your washer and dryer and extra storage. Then the whole house water softener. Above is where we keep the central air and the furnace. And we have the heated flooring. Before we head out to the garage and show them your area, Dick, uh, you guys spend a lot of time here in the winter, actually. We do. We come here in, in January. Last year we came for New Year's and wound up staying the whole month of January, enjoying <laughs> the snow. And we have complete, the whole house is floor heat. So it's plenty warm. And a whole house generator, I believe? Yes, have? we have a full home generator as well. Because we do get a lot of power outages from time to time during the winter. So a few, not that many. Not that many, but we do get them and it kicks right in and we, we have everything here. 
Well, we're, we're excited. I can't stand cold weather, but we're coming up here because of you guys this winter. We bought snowmobiles, so well, we'll we're going to have, oh. we'll have some fun. Riding this we'll have some well, fun. So Many sure. people up here have snowmobiles. Absolutely. Let's go show them the garage. This is the garage area. It's a two-car garage, but it's an oversized two-car garage. The doors are eight by ten, which is much bigger than normal. As you can see, it's very spacious. The walls are also vinyl walls. They're not drywall. They're vinyl and I just, you just wipe them down and they, they make them shine. This is our, a closet for our, all our excess suitcases, bags, and clothing, winter clothes versus summer clothes and so on. Lighting is comes on as you open the doors. This lot is currently available for sale and you can get that information by contacting Hearthside Road Sales Department directly. Thank you guys so much for showing us your lot and uh, showing everybody out there on Andrew's YouTube channel. We really appreciate it. Well, thank you, Brad, for, for having us, and thank you so much for your uh, hospitality here in the park. You've done so much for this park this summer. We really appreciate it, and everyone thank in this I park appreciates appreciate what the Motor Coach store has oh, done here. Well, I'm, I'm honored and humbled. Thank you, Dick. I appreciate you. You will. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thanks, Terry. See you later. So, Bud and Gwen, how did you get into the motor coach lifestyle? Well, uh, it actually was his idea first. Our first coach was a much smaller coach than what we have. As we progressed and enjoying, you know, all the aspects of motor coaching and our grandkids started really loving it, we just ended up getting bigger and bigger and so here we are that's a lifestyle that other people they can't visualize it in their head they don't know what we're doing when we tell them being free we take our bed and our home with us we eat at home every night it's uh you sleep in your own bed every night you can't beat it you just it's you take your dog and i think the best part for us is making the new friends along the way yeah. and in a place like Heartside, there's just such friendliness and they're very open and welcoming you know to new people this is only our second year being here the enjoyment of the environment is contagious this is our week we play golf on monday with a group here and then on tuesday we'll probably play pickleball on wednesday we bike with the group on here usually uh, the bikes are always a trip to uh a close town where we can have lunch and Harbor come back. Springs yeah. or Petoskey. Or, or we'll take the bikes to a, a trail off campus and drive to another city and back. It's just, uh, can't do that at home. And what made you choose uh, Petoskey? There's a lot of nice resorts out there for the summertime, but what is it about Harside Grove? There are, and we owned another one for six years. There's a significant difference. The weather here is to die for. You can golf. You don't have mountain golf in front of you. You, you can, there's a lot of things you can do. There's restaurants close by. You just can't wear it out. And there's a ton of things we haven't done yet. We still want to do that. We've got on our, our itinerary. So we'll, as we go through the years, we'll, we'll do those things, but it's just, I think the convenience, it's convenience of everything. Of everything. Yeah. And you know, we get to, everything's real close by. Everything's right here. You can't beat it. Can't it's beat a beautiful it. view. Yeah. Especially this time of year with the leaves changing color, it's just incredible. Yeah. And this climate is to die for. It is. Last year we were here a lot later, and this place just turned red and orange. It was just stunning. It just can't explain it to people. It's definitely unlike anything else out there. Now, it's a beautiful Newmar Mountain Air behind you, and I think I recognize this coach and remember when you purchased this uh, down at the Motor Coach store? Yeah, I saw it though before you put the video on. Yes, sir, I remember. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, you were beating up Brad pretty good. No, I, I didn't beat him up. I, <laughs> he had, it was pretty much what we wanted. He had it sitting there, so we jumped on it. It, it, it's, this is a, this is a well, nice there are ride. very few coaches that I've walked in. I said, there's nothing wrong with this coach. I, I loved every aspect of it. It fit exactly what we were looking so for. So it's got a woman's touch, because apparently two women ordered this coach. Exactly. And it, it's got their touch in there, and it's pretty impressive when you walk in there. It's yeah, that interior yeah. with the diamond pattern on the yeah. ceiling. Yeah. One of my favorite Newmar-designed motorhomes out there. That's so. why I had to look at the video after I saw it. I had to we'll go back and look at your video and see what you, you were thinking. <laughs> I'm glad we were on the same page. And I'm glad that this coach found such a nice owner and you're using this the right way. Oh, yeah. So. yeah. 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 Well, now, do you have any advice? There's a lot of folks out there on YouTube that are thinking about maybe RVing. Do you have any advice for someone that's thinking about getting into the luxury motor coach lifestyle? Don't hesitate. You need to buy a coach and get something that you can start with and figure out what you want. I think a lot of us go through this. The first coach they buy is not what you really need. It, it, you, have to, you have to do it for a little while to figure out what you want to do with it, how you, how you want to travel and that sort of thing. Then you can move up to what you really think you need. So that's, that's basically where we're at. We bought a smaller coach to start 
to see if we even liked it. So, yeah, we kind of figured out we kind of liked this. We got into a coach that had uh, propane heat and uh, had propane tanks on it. We didn't like the propane tanks. We wanted electric heat, and, and so we got rid of that one. You know, so we moved up the line. We got the things we needed as, as we moved. This is our fifth coach. The reason we wanted the bigger coach was we had decided that we were going to spend five to six months yeah. with this coach, and that if you're going to use it as your home away from home, you definitely need something bigger that you that can accommodate sometimes the grandkids would come and stay you know the smaller coaches just don't offer. now we put them in the bungalow <laughs> yeah now, so did you buy your lot here at Harside? yeah I brought, we did yeah this lot needed a lot of attention had been vacated for five years and then people that had it didn't come here very often so we had some serious work to do but we got it where we want it now and we're very comfortable what's nice about having a coach is it's outdoor living you can sleep inside but we like to be outdoors this atmosphere and this type of Motor coaching gives you that opportunity to live outdoors and still have your home with you. You can't beat it, man. And this is where we spend most of our time. Yeah, we, right here. We spend 90% of our time right here. It ended up being a really nice purchase for us. Yeah. We're very happy. This is our second uh, coach from you. Brad. They deliver. I bought three coaches and three other dealers, and his delivery was just superb compared to everybody else's. They care. He really, he really cared about us. When I walked away from both coaches, I had a personal phone number of not only Brad's, but the PDI guy that built that took this coach in. I had his home phone number and I could call him 24-7. That means a lot when you walk away from a dealership, in my opinion. The first three I bought, you know, See you later. <laughs> well, that's what I hear over and over it's, again. You know, and that's, like, that's why I work with Brad in the Motor Coach store because you know I, I hear this over and over. It's a big purchase, a lot of money. You need something for your, in return for your money. You get that with him. So yeah, I'm, I'm glad to hear that. That makes my job a lot easier when we're yeah. filming these coaches, so. And you didn't preempt me on that either. I'm just telling you that's the way it goes down there. It, they care. Yeah, well, I, I really appreciate that. And I'm glad to see you're using this coach, uh, how it was meant to be used and enjoying this yeah. beautiful lot. We're inside. really enjoying it. We really yeah. are. Yeah, well, it's thank beautiful. you for your time. I really appreciate yeah, right, yeah. it. Very right. nice to meet you. Nice meeting you. And my pleasure. And we'll let you get back to enjoying this beautiful afternoon here. Thank yeah, you. Well, thank you. Thank you so thank much. You. So this is a cool building. What are we looking at here? This is our original clubhouse. This is the first thing that people see when they come into Harside. This was built uh, back in 2007 when they first opened the place. So this one has a fitness center, has a little nice seating area, fireplaces, little kitchenettes here for any guests and owners to use. One of the the awesome things about this one is the pool and the hot tub that people enjoy all summer long. Then we also have a library, some nice sitting areas, mm -hmm. another fitness center here. Yep. Uh, looks like a kitchen, kind of a smaller version of the, the grand clubhouse there. Exactly. One of the fastest growing sports is pickleball. I recently started playing. I'm a huge fan. Looks like you have quite the setup for pickleball here. Yeah, we have four courts and they get utilized, that's for sure. One of the fastest growing sports, as Andrew said, and these are great courts to play on. Do they have tournaments here or free play? Do they stay pretty busy? They do. They stay pretty busy. So we do have tournaments that are scheduled. I've seen these courts packed, the sidelines packed, everything. So it's been huge for our resort and then they also just do every morning play. So if you want to jump in on a pickleball game there's usually games going on? Oh yeah every morning there's normally so at least some people down here playing. This is quite the grandiose building here. What is this that we're looking at here? This is our main clubhouse for Harside Grove. We have lots of our activities here. We host rallies, events, coach companies come and have events here, showcases. It is one of the most fabulous in the country. We're really proud of it. Yeah you want to show us around? Around. Come on in. Yeah. This is where uh, people come to check in once they've uh, come through the gate here. When you come to Harside Grove, you'll be instructed to come up to the clubhouse. This is our welcome center. You'll unhook your coach here and we have our welcome center and offices here. So you'll come through the main entrance, be welcomed by our hospitality staff. And then from there, you'll see the fabulous facility. It's kind of our grand ballroom. We just had a big Newell rally here. This was filled with people here for four beautiful days this fall. Over here, we have our own little ice cream parlor, our famous fireplace, which people come and read, sit by, our bar area over here, uh, library, and then we have our laundry facilities, restrooms, and uh, entertainment center back here. And I'm seeing Newell Theater here. You guys have a movie theater here? We do. So we have a professional kitchen and a theater. And uh, come take a look at this fabulous facility. So if you take a peek in here, 
a full professional kitchen. We bring chefs in for wine and food events. Then they have a mic up system that they can speak um, out to our theater. Many of our owners use this and bring in professional chefs and have special events in here, which we like. And then we have our theater here that's used for sporting events. We have Friday night movies that people enjoy. And then we combine the chef and the theater experience together, which is truly first class. And with all that good food everyone's eating around here, there's, a, there's definitely a need for a fitness center. Here's our fitness center. And we bring in yoga, Pilates, and then you can work out on your own here. Then if you walk back here, we have kind of a professional area for Pilates, yoga, and dance classes. So this is top notch. And with a beautiful view there as well, yeah, very light. We want people to have great views of Petoskey here at Harside Grove. So everything is always looking out towards landscape or beauty. This is our outdoor entertainment pavilion area. Most of our bands that come at our entertainment events will set up here. We have a lot of our outdoor dining events that occur here as well, or you can come just enjoy the beauty. If you take a walk down this path here, so our guests will come have a true Northern Michigan experience, sit by the Rose Pond, put your feet in the sand, or sit around our Michigan themed fire pit and enjoy a cool evening in the shoulder season. So we found possibly one of the most expensive motor coach lots in the world and we're with Kirk Rose here, one of the developers here at Harside Grove and this is something special here. It is. This is uh, 3.5 million here at Hearthside. Different, unique, probably one of the largest uh, RV sites that you can buy in the country. It's on an acre lot. Every little inch is uh, detailed and uh, it's a beautiful spot. Let's go show you what it, what it is. And this is in the woodlands area yes. of the resort. And I believe all of the lots are uh, an acre here in the woodlands? Or? A minimum of an acre up to two and a half acres. This has a really long driveway and that's a pretty good size house. What's the square footage of this? Is this considered a coach house? Or? It's like a barn dominium, but it's 40 by 60 is the size. And then the half of the building is a two story living. Yeah, and just so many nice touches like this pond up here with a waterfall with all the flowers. Putting green up here as well. Just incredible layout and landscape design. I see 50 amp here, so I'm assuming this is where the motor coach would be parked where we have these golf carts here you right can now? do a coach here. There's room for another coach pulled up to the garage door and then also inside the garage door. So you could store your coach inside of the garage yeah. as well when have, you're gone? Have friends come visit you here with multiple coaches at the same time. <laughs> but before we go inside, I just got to check out all of this landscaping here with the different multiple waterfalls, a nice backyard area up here. But can we take a look inside yeah. of the barn dominium? Yeah, let's go inside. Nice outdoor kitchen out here as well and modern style garage door as well. I bet you that was pretty expensive. That's probably what a 14 foot door. Or? Yes, yep, 12 by 14. This building is all concrete walls, so they're 18 feet high. And Built like a <laughs> fortress, yeah. It's got that tongue and groove wood on the ceiling, uh, just incredible style. And this is seems a lot bigger than 45 feet. How, how deep oh, is this? Oh, this is 60. 40 by 60 is the building. Okay, 60. This is about 15 feet wide here in the, in the RV space. Awesome. Come on in. That's a very cozy, very homey feel with the stone fireplace and then that view of the pond and the fountains. This is nice. Yeah. So first, there's a first floor master here and then upstairs, we can go upstairs and show you uh, two bedrooms upstairs with another living space as well. Yeah, so another kitchen and living area. So two kitchens, if you have family that wants to have their own separate area, yeah. if they have kids or. Yep, yeah. yep. And a nice balcony here. This is incredible. If I run into about $3.5 million, I know where you might find me out here. This is That's pretty right. special. It's a beautiful spot. Very quiet, quaint setting, but yet you're right next door to Hearthside Grove. You're, you're right next to your neighbors and friends here. Uh, yes, sir, and I was talking about that with Brad uh, earlier, just why people choose the RV lifestyle. And there's something about the camaraderie yeah. and all of the activities and just you know knowing your neighbors. So this is really special to be able to have that real large footprint with plenty of elbow room where if you want the privacy you have it but if you want to jump on the golf cart and go socialize with all the other folks in the motor coach community you've got that option as well yes that's a great great opportunity as we go through there's 17 lots here you know like we said up to two and a half acres that you can build exactly what you 
see in that. So, yeah, and I want to ask you more about the availability, but let's uh, check yeah. out the rest of this barn dominium here. You bet. So, is this a new build or brand new build? It seems that way. Good sized bathroom here with a shower and a tub. A nice window overlooking that beautiful outdoor area. So, then we've got two bedrooms here. Again, that wood tongue and groove ceiling. Standard bedroom for guests. And then, uh, is this a, a, the master for upstairs then? It is, yep. Nice, it's a little bit larger, but no bathroom in this room? No, Okay. just like a guest loft, so to speak. And again, it's building what this owner saw in, in the unit. I mean, we have other ones that are going up to a five bedroom, you know, seven, 8,000 square feet, 10,000 square feet. There's still a master bedroom downstairs that yeah. we haven't seen yet. That had to, to do more with accessibility. It's got a little storage closet below the stairs here. And then this is gonna be the master suite back here. There's no furniture set up right now, but a really nice space then with, you know, the big bathroom here, nice walk-in closet. I really like the style of these doors and really cool tile work in the shower there as well. So this is available now for 3.5, million. Yes. Now, how many lots are available in the Woodlands currently? A couple vacant lots. One unit that's being built that's for sale currently, a larger building that's not finished yet, but that's also on the market. And what do the lots start out that, you know, are, are not The not vacant developed? lots go anywhere from 900 to a million eight. This unit, three and a half. The other one's going to be probably finished around 4.2. A yeah, very cool opportunity yeah. for someone. And then of course the Hearthside Grove website will have all of the availability. All the, all the listings are on the website, get you the current inventory and everything. It's uh, been a great sales year. Yeah, and they're probably changing by the day, all so the that's time. the best way to keep yep. an eye on things. Keep it up to date. And then Hearthside is doing a new development on storage buildings, I hear. Yes, a luxury storage garages, accessible right to Hearthside, right at our entrance. Don't have to be a part of Hearthside. You can store your huge boat off of Lake Michigan there large buildings from high 300s to 550. We've got one for 1.8 that's 7,000 square feet. More of a man cave, just to hang out lifestyle space for someone that has a lot of toys they enjoy. And you just recently broke ground on those. When are you expecting to have those ready? They will be delivered to the owners that have bought already by about mid-November. So and pretty quickly here. Yep, we've already got two up. Steel keeps arriving every day. Okay, and um, and when will that project be complete? Well, they would finish up everything by next spring. Basically, the landscape and stuff will come in by the spring. Yeah, it's a great opportunity for storage if someone wants to buy a lot here and then also have that storage facility. It is. Or just have a place uh, in the north to leave a coach or leave a boat maybe and come and go as they wish. Yes, sir, absolutely. And how yep. many total uh, storage? 26 units. So very limited. Yes, very limited. Great time to buy. I'd like to introduce Craig Rose, the developer of Harside Grove. Nice to see you, Craig. Yeah, good to see you, Brad. You guys have just created something incredible here. Yeah, We've been uh, coming to Harside Grove since the day you opened, Heather and I have. Sorry it took us 16 years. Hey, that's okay. We're good with anybody's <laughs> timeline. We always know everybody's going to want to end up here, so that's fine. The best thing I can tell you is, Craig and the viewers, for 22 years, Heather and I have been luxury RV all over the country. We never understood, as you all know, buying a lot and just parking your RV. We went out and experienced everything out there. Without a doubt, you have the most beautiful RV resort on the planet, Craig. Thank you. We're, uh, it's, it's been a really a group effort with some great owners, all kinds of talented craftsmen, and an absolutely gorgeous piece of property for the no development doubt. itself. And it's just a, it's a wonderful place to be. Yeah, the people are what make it. Mm -hmm. You have assembled a great group of owners at this yeah. park, and we are just, we've made lifelong friendships already oh, this from summer. all over the country. All yeah. over the country. All walks of life. Not South just Bay. owners, renters too. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's been fantastic. Yep. So this is Conifer. Yes, this is our newest phase. We still have a lot more expansion to go. We've had a growth over time. As people's tastes have changed, we've got a lot more options available now. But we have larger lots in our newest phase, which we're standing in right now. It's a beautiful area on the western side of the community. It connects to all of the other beautiful parts of the property, surrounded by mature trees. And you have a lot of freedom here to create bungalows and outdoor living spaces, really to your taste, large garages to, to bring your classic cars yeah. or your extra convertible that you want in addition to your tow car. So we really have a lot of opportunity here to For create sure. something very personal and something that fits you like a glove. Well, and unique. 
you know, your vision for each of these phases and mm -hmm. condos is so unique mm -hmm. and they're vastly different yes. from one to the next Absolutely. as you're all seeing. Yeah. So there's something literally here for everybody, whether you're buying or renting. Right, we want the whole <laughs> spectrum. If you just, if you're just here for a little bit or if you really are here for the whole season yep. and you want to have your family fly in and yep. enjoy, we have people that have multiple properties, some for their kids, some for them. We can do all kinds of things all within the same community. Well, look at us. We're creating the first, I think, family compound mm -hmm. RV lot. So it's we're great. excited to showcase that. With that adjacency, that. it's outstanding. Yeah. So much fun. We love it. So this beautiful lot is available here? It is. This is lot 294. It has a great outdoor space with a bathroom and a laundry and a two-car garage. So you can keep all of your uh, cars and toys in there. Yeah, I love the modern styling, the very garage. modern garage door there. Yeah, the garage door, and then uh, you kind of have the interesting uh, sconces. Every lot is personalized and is very unique. Yeah, this is a beautiful Newell coach on the lot here. There's a lot of Newell coaches in the resort there, right now. Oh, there are. Yeah, we've got almost 50 Newell coaches. We're having a rally. So any of you out there that want to bring rally groups, as the resort has grown over time, we have more ability in the spring and fall to host groups. And there is no place better than uh, Harside Grove to have your group and enjoy our 18,000 square foot uh, state-of-the-art clubhouse and all the things the area has to offer. So please give us a call if you'd like to come with a group. The Newell coach owners know how to have a good time and this oh, yeah. is definitely the place for it. Oh, they're having a great time. They're on Mackinac Island. They're going on a boat ride today. It's just a, it's a great place to have a rally. I think they did some uh, ATV riding yesterday as well. All kinds of fun things to do. All right, so this is a, a, a different style uh, than what I've seen before. It is. This has a gable roof and it has an outdoor area where it's fully, uh, fully screened. So you can enjoy the Northern Michigan weather, the breezes. You have a beautiful outdoor fire pit that's adjacent to this. What's really nice with this, a lot of our pergolas, you know, you're living outside, but you go back to the coach perhaps to use your restroom. This has a full bathroom and a laundry inside, which is, a, which is great. And then the garage is right across. Now this is available now. How much money does someone need to purchase this lot? This is just a little over a million dollars for this. All finished, just like you see, ready to go. And how big is this lot total? This lot is about 9,000 square feet. So we, we run between 70 and 80 feet wide and about 120 deep. So very, very generous lot sizes. And what's the HOA cost here at the resort? 350 a month, very, very, very attractive. Yeah, especially for all of the amenities oh, here. That's a, that's a great absolutely. value. Absolutely. Yeah, we have high-speed internet, all kinds of things to make you feel at home and take care of whatever you need here. When a lot like this rents out, do renters have access to the pergolas? We have many different levels and you can certainly rent the pergolas and we have all kinds of levels on our website. You can see the actual lot you're going to rent as well, which is, which is a really big advantage. So you can decide what you want your vacation to be like as a guest. Well, and I don't think there's two lots that are identical in the whole resort. Everyone no. has a little bit different Every, uh, feel. Everyone is very, very custom. Million plus dollar lot like this. Uh, what would something like this roughly rent out for per night? This is going to be between three and $400 per night for something like this. Yeah, but to have all of this space for oh, a family gathering, sure. you can have quite a few people. And is there a limit to how many people you can have on a lot? N not necessarily. We usually would have four to six. Oh. You know, it would be a normal family. And then maybe people would rent multiple lots if they have a group larger than that. So a lot of open space here on these undeveloped lots. Sure. Uh, now, are these for sale kind of as a blank slate? They are. So this lot, as an example, would be about 75 feet wide and a little over 100 feet deep. So you have all kinds of width and length to build whatever you'd like. So you start out with a 75 foot coach pad with all the utilities ready to go. And then in this expansive area is where you can create your own lifestyle amenity package, however you'd like. Leave it blank or go totally crazy? Absolutely, and we have an in-house team. So building with us is very easy. We, we take care of all the contracting, all the design work, and all we need is your dream and we're ready to go. Yeah, some great opportunities for folks here. And what are the price for these undeveloped lots here? They're in the mid 300s. And I know this is all a brand new part of the resort. Sure. Uh, how many have sold so far and how many are available? Well, we're selling, we just had a closing today. Uh, over, uh, we stood next to 301, so congratulations to the Curtises. That was great. We still have about 25 available in this loop and then we are expanding as well. So we have another 51 properties in our next phase. And how many total properties are in the resort right now with all of the different phases? 
phases here. We'll be at 263 when we're all finished. And how many total acres is the resort? We have 140 on? acres. Wow, that's it's, huge. It's beautiful. And to be this close to Petoskey and all the fun things to do, it's really, it's really a special piece of property. Well, and only have 263 lots on 140 sure. acres. That's a lot of elbow room yes. here. Yeah, we, we really wanted to do, we could have put more properties, but we really love the space and what it allows. And then after you do all your landscaping, this lot, once it's done, will be completely private for the homeowner. You're going for quality over always, quantity. Always, 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 yes. Right across from the legend Mark Martin's coach here, we've got another beautiful lot, and we're with Dave from Harside Grove. How are you doing today, sir? Doing well, thanks, how about you? Excellent, thank thanks, you. Sir. So what part of the resort is this area here? So this is phase two. This development, you'll typically see outdoor kitchen space, some bungalows, and we're backed up against this beautiful long pond, and many of these have beautiful water features as well. Yes, yeah, so many nice views from every lot in this resort. Now, are there any lots available in phase two currently? There are, there are a couple on the uh, other side of this pond. There are some on the, the back side of the pond in a secondary road, a, a nice quiet street. And the price in here ranges from upper threes to around 600,000. And these lots are gonna have like a smaller kind of a bungalow or how would you describe these lots? Most of these properties in here will have a bungalow. Some have an outdoor kitchen space as well. And the bungalow uh, primarily serves as an overflow space when family has guests and children. And this is one of the earlier parts of the development, so it seems like all these lots are pretty fully developed at this point. Yeah, these are all very meticulously landscaped and everything that you see in here is very mature. A lot of people have a misconception that this phase was carved out of the woods when in fact it isn't. It was all developed and landscaped and it's just done, been done beautifully. Yeah, absolutely stunning. Now, do these lots rent out as well? They do. So it's the owner's uh, choice to put it into the rental pool. So if someone wants to buy a lot, they can always check the Harside Grove website and see available inventory or what's the best way to keep up to date on lots for sale? Yeah, we have our contact information there. Disclosure about who we are and what we do. We're not a pressure sales organization. We always put the relationship ahead of the customer. There's a, there's a lid for every pot in here and you know some people are looking for an investment. Some people are looking for somewhere to get away for the summer. We specialize in listening to what it is they want. And, uh, and finding something that fits their unique needs. All right, guys, it's been a long day of filming, but we've got one really special interview for you. Uh, these are some RVers that have been doing it for a long time. They've got a lot of wisdom and uh, some of my personal favorite RVers here. A lot of you remember Brad and Heather, Motor Coach Door King. <laughs> long day of filming, long appreciate you, sir. day, man. We've been at this uh, for eight hours. This is my happy place. You're actually sitting in my chair where I normally sit and look out at the fountains and the fire pit, my beautiful wife, and then my other happy place. I adjourn down there and watch television. So yeah, this is where it's at for me. So we've interviewed you in the past here, but some of the folks haven't seen that video. How long have you and Heather been RVing for? We've been RVing for 22 years now. We started out with a travel supreme back in the day. So that's been quite a journey. Yes, yeah, so you've been to pretty much all the big resorts, all the best resorts around the country. Yeah, there, there's still a lot we haven't seen, even uh, being in it that long, actually. There's always these nice uh, developments getting done out there, but uh, we've seen all the major ones. Now, you recently made a big purchase here at Harside Grove. Three lots here, all continuous. Pretty blessed, you know, to have three isolated contiguous lots to be able to be purchased at the same time. I mean, what are the odds? We've got a wood buffer that separates us from any other lots. We've got a street out front here and we all surround a pond. Probably the only luxury family RV compound lot in the country, <laughs> so. Definitely a compound. Now, what made you to make this purchase here at Hearthside Grove? We never understood why all these people would buy these lots because we use our motorhome and we go all over the country and see things, meet people. Just, we never got the concept. Maybe it's an age thing. You know, we both turned 53 this year. We decided to sell our home that we've had in Michigan for 17 years. We needed a place to go, so we wanted to check out Petoskey and stay here for the summer. We did not have any intention of buying. When these lots became available and also from meeting the people in this lifestyle, something clicked in us and said, man, we get it now. We finally understand why they do. It's like-minded people. 
you know, it's lifestyle. I go from sun up to sundown in this place. It's just incredible the amount of people. I believe we've made some lifelong friends already oh, that'll be there absolutely. till the end. I mean, uh, multiple, I can't even count them right now. It is a magical place for the people. And that's why we bought in here ultimately. So having three lots, you only need one, one lot coach. for yourself <laughs> and then your partner, AJ and his yeah. wife, Michelle. AJ uh, and Michelle are on the other lot over here and they left for the season already. So we have the Beaties staying yeah. on that lot with us. Uh, we've enjoyed spending the summer with them. They're phenomenal people. Um, I believe you did an interview with them today on the rental lifestyle here. Then we have the, the third lot on the corner here is our show coach lot. Right now we have a 2024 Newell over there that we took on trade on a 24 Newell that we had for sale here in the park. Yeah, what's the story on that coach? Why would uh, someone trade a 24 Newell for another 24 Newell? The wife wanted a different interior from what the husband bought her. Wonderful people, Barry and Donna, lifelong friends that we know will be to the end. If mommy ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. And anybody knows Barry <laughs> and Donna knows that's the case. So, and Donna's very happy. She likes the new coach? Oh, she's ecstatic about it. And so is Barry. So it's interesting how it came together. It's really special. What's the story on that 24 Newell? The 24 Newell we have on our show coach lot just for a few more days. It might even be gone by the time this video airs. Our time is winding down here. It's a 24 Newell mid-entry, bath and a half with 21,000 miles on it for $2,222,222. Late model Newell ready to go right now? Yeah, I talked with Grant from Newell. They had their rally here, as you know. Yeah, and I believe he said January of 26 is the next slot. So there it is. So Heather, when are you guys going to move your stuff from the 20 Newell into the 24 Newell? <laughs> I would love a mid-entry. Absolutely. So we'll see. We're, we're so close to going home, so the timing's off, but you never know. You never know. We know Brad's a motor coach nut, mm -hmm. but how are you enjoying, from a female perspective, the motor coach store lifestyle? Absolutely intriguing. The people, the community is amazing. We've gotten established now. We're comfortable. We're enjoying everybody. We have a routine. We have plenty of friends here, friends that we've cultivated over the years and friends, new friends that we've just met. So it's been an amazing time. We're really, really happy. So you mentioned your routine. What's, what's part of your routine? What are some of your favorite things to do here at Hearthside? Some of the most important things to me is the flexibility of the neighboring towns. I love the fact that we have three incredible towns centrally located here. We have workouts, we have movie theater. It's just really flowed organically from our lifestyle in Florida. So that has been a nice flow. And we've also just enjoying the nightlife. Our nightlife obviously is dinner and drinks. The variety of restaurants here is just extreme. Yeah. Heather and I are big foodies, as you know, and the dining, it just never gets old here. It's never. It's incredible. So never. I believe our relationship has gotten even to a, a better level than it's ever been. You know, just from a relaxing standpoint, we're really just enjoying this place. It does something to your soul. Would you say? Oh, absolutely. You for me, for me, it's full circle, right? So, I grew up just south of here. So, for me to be back in this vicinity where I was basically raised, uh, just it's definitely a heart, a heartwarming experience. I'll let you guys get back to enjoying your evening here, but thanks thank for having you. us up here. Really awesome to get a behind the scenes look at the luxury motor coach lifestyle. Well, thank you, Andrew. We, thank we, you. We really appreciate everything you do. We hope all your viewers enjoy this. This was our longest episode we've ever done. So it's gonna be exciting to see what Eli does with this <laughs> behind the camera there. Uh, Eli, uh, you don't get a lot of shout outs here and I'm here to tell you, you make this chaos look beautiful. And absolutely. It's so fun to watch, man. But we're delirious. It's been a long day, so. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we're, we're missing you in Florida, so looking forward to getting you back uh, to Florida here soon. A more weeks. Uh, but enjoy the rest of your time up here, and Thank thanks you. again for the opportunity. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Andrew. Yep, Andrew. yep, appreciate you. Yep. Thank, Thank you, you guys. Yeah. My pleasure. There's so much to see. We've been going wide open since we got here. Yeah. Something clicked in us and said, man, we get it now. I think there's about 26 cars in here. There's some really nice eye candy. And 